Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, a few tips about buying surplus products uh, from Japan, Korea, or actually anywhere as long as it's surplus. So if this is something that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so we are back again. My name is Kathy, and on this channel, we talk about unboxing, product reviews, I give life tips, we also do journaling, um, diamond painting, and for today, we will be talking about surplus products. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you do, and you kind of like, share, comment, it's much appreciated by small YouTubers like myself. So, lately, I have been actually um, cooking a lot. And I realized that there were some products or some items that I kind of wanted to add to the kitchen and to, you know, things to use. So uh, I kind of wanted an aesthetic vibe, but I wanted it to be a little bit unique. And so I started looking at surplus shops because I remember being able to find a lot of really good finds in surplus shops. Now, since we're not really going out much because, you know, it's still a pandemic, I discovered a surplus shop online, <laughs> several of them. But the one I'm gonna discuss today is Casa Soledad. So she does a lot of uh, character surplus items, but she also has a lot of really nice kitchenware. So I was actually able to buy from her a sauce pan um, that was enamel, and it's so cute. It has like a strawberry surrounding. I'm gonna try to insert a photo here. Um, because I don't have it with me right now, it's downstairs. But the second batch of items that I was able to buy from her, I will be showing you guys. I also got from her um, some Kero Kero uh cake plates and so, so gorgeous and reasonably priced. So now, um, while I'm sharing this with you, I'm also going to share with you about four to five tips when buying surplus products, okay? So first one is... Make sure that the vendor that you are purchasing from has a lot of reviews. It's also very honest. You'll know this in the description. So like with Casa Soledad, she makes sure to mention if there's a chip, if there's grazing, if it's used, if it's slightly used, it's a well used, so that you know. And then she takes a lot of photos to really show you the details. Okay, so for example, this um, cap, I don't know if this is a trinket um, mug or like a, this is for cooking, but it, this is a stoneware. This is a cap. See? And it is in really good condition. There's absolutely no chip, no damages. It even has like this footrest kind of thing that, you know, makes it like steady when you place it. It won't move easily. And there's just no chipping, which I like. Okay, so see, it's so cute. I'm so glad I got this. Okay, so there's one. Now, you also need to check for prices and compare. There's nothing wrong with that. So before I actually bought anything from Casa Soledad, I made sure to check on the items that she had and then look at the others to see where I may be able to, you know, score cheaper. Um but quality okay so i check and casa soledad has one of the really really uh what do you call this budget friendly reasonable price okay by the way this is not sponsored i paid for all my purchases i just really really love i've been falling in love with surplus shops that's why i'm sharing it with you guys then the next one i got is this rice bowl and i love that it has a shrimp design okay and again no damages, no anything, okay? Which I really love. And the way she packages it, it's really bubble wrap and super nice. Like, it won't move even if it's via Lalamoog or grab that you have it delivered. Super nice. See? And then, the other one that you have to do is to check the dimensions. So, a seller that doesn't put the dimensions, not worth buying from. But if they put in, like, how how long this is, how deep it is, how wide this is, then that's good because you would know. Shampoo, right? Photos can be deceiving. When you look at it, it's round, it's oval, it's big, it's small. 
so make sure to check the dimensions so this one it's just the right size it's a rice bowl okay and then i also got some ceramic spoons from her see it's how nice right these are a hundred a piece and um they have three so this is very nice i also like the fact that she's you know very honest about the finds like she would tell you oh this one is rare ma'am you should get it this one okay lang um this one i got this is like 120 it's actually bigger than the other ones as you can see and there were two and it seems that this is not that common so she told me to you know get the two and i did and i'm very very happy about them like super happy and then this one is for baking i also like the fact that they say if this is meant for baking this is meant for just decorative purposes or this is meant to be na lalagyan lang ng ulam there uh -huh. it's so nice right i love it like this is just so nice there and then i also got from her a tagine i think it's tagine or tagine it's a tagine there this is not an embudo my husband said that yeah, an embudo this is not a funnel or an embudo this is actually a like a kind of uh, it's stoneware clay pot and this is where you can serve the food see so if this is meant for cooking there would actually be like a circular thing here and it doesn't have that so this is just really meant more of for uh, serving the dish though the manual that came with it this one see it came in a box actually it shows here now this can be used with fire in a microwave oven induction and i guess another microwave oven <laughs> so there see i love that it even had that so this is okay for being used but one thing i saw online um is that the the jeans are not meant to be used under high heat it's always low temperature or else you might actually end up breaking it so i'm gonna do another video using this and then i'll let you guys know if it's you know, worth it or not but my favorite and i guess this is what got me into surplus shops purchase of all is this pie holder because it's so unique this is the first time i've seen something like it let me show you oh Pretty, right? Pretty. Come on. It's so pretty, right? I I can imagine like the egg pie here, and then you know when I was eating, you cover it, and it looks so pretty. It looks so rustic. It looks I don't know. It just feels like something like a grandma would serve you, and. I just love it. I super love it. So remember with surplus shopping, don't buy to hoard, buy to use because that's what the surplus are for. These are surplus meaning excess or secondhand or slightly used. And if we're trying to, you know, support sustainability, then we need to make sure that when we buy, it's something that we will be able to use to give the item a longer life or a new life. Okay? So I hope that you remember all of the tips that i shared with you which is one check the vendor make sure that the vendor is honest has a lot of reviews gives uh product descriptions and all of that and you know lets you know if there's a chip or there's a damage and uh that's the kind of vendor that you want to have two check for the prices and compare make sure that you're getting your money's worth three is check the dimensions you need to know if it's going to fit your oven your um uh, your air fryer your microwave if it's gonna fit your pan or not next is also make sure that you're buying not hard but to use it for uh for your house and then the last one and most important is check your budget why most surplus shops will only hold your item for 24 hours and then they will give it to someone else who can pay because you know they're there to make a business and they can't really like put everything just in stock. So if someone else wants to buy it after 24 hours, then they have to release the item. 
So make sure that when you actually say mine, you are ready with your budget as well. I hope that this um, five pointers helped you out and I hope that uh, you'll be able to shop more. I will link down Casa Soledad below. I'm actually like not wanting to link her down below because you guys might end up, you know, being my competitor and trying to mine things. But, you know, sharing is caring. And so, sharing with you my little find on the internet. And I hope that this makes someone else's day. Thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!